to the 12 tribes of Jaja children all over the earth. I bring you greeting. This is Lily of the Valley. And we have a Newsweek article here showing how the prophecies are starting to unfold in front of our eyes. Because whatever the daughters of Edom have sown and the sons of Edom have sown into the earth, they are reaping it now. It's not something to celebrate. It's not something to glorify. It's very sad. But in all our generations, there are prophecies that we will see come to pass. Southern Poverty Law Center, number of U.S. aids reaches record high. Remember, Southern Poverty Law Center, they are also the children of Edom. So we, Negroes, Negresses, Israelites, Christians, Hebrews, we have to have our own statistics. But we'll use their statistics to show them how the Bible is going to be fulfilled against them. So rising death rates among white Americans linked to, linked to perceived threat to their dominant social status study says. So all this opioid, it says, is the perceived threat. A new health public public health study rece released by University of Toronto researchers found that rising mortality rates Rising mortality in white Americans is parted blue due to perceptions that they are losing social status. The paper titled Growing Sense of Social Status Threat and Committant Deaths of Despair Among Whites highlights this population health phenomenon that has been unfolding in the past two decades. Mortality rates seldom rise unless a society is subject to to, to something disastrous like a major economic crisis, an infectious disease, epidemic, or war, but there has been an increase in working age mortality rates for just one group in the United States since 1999, that's non-Hispanic whites. This is a startling finding, said Aroman Siddiqui, lead author of the study. Okay. So it's saying that there are despairing because their social and economic advantage is eroding but that was prophesied by Obadiah it was prophesied in the book of Lamentations so when they say status is a major predictor of health so our team hypothesized that it was a perception among whites that blacks are economically catching up to them when in fact income inequality and other social economic factors continue to affect black Americans more unfavorably, Siddiqui said. So it says whites are killing themselves because they think blacks are catching up economically to them even though blacks are the most persecuted people in the earth even to this day. But because of the favor of the Mosai upon our lives, because the Negroes are the children of Israel, we go through more persecution, but the Mosai is the one protecting us because we can't protect ourselves from so many enemies. And we have a lot of enemies listed in Psalm 83. So Donald Trump's campaign promoted widespread xenophobia. What they think is Donald Trump, but it doesn't have anything to do with Donald Trump because even Donald Trump, his rise to power has really helped a lot of the Negroes, you know, as opposed to all the others that they used to vote for. But where they need to be looking as to why that is happening is Obadiah and Lamentations. Remember, our people are just coming out of being exiled, abandoned, to work, come in nakedness and in want of all things. Let's see. Lamentations 4. It talks about the daughters of Zion are going to be rising. Because our calamities are at its end. Okay. We're going to be righteous and holy. Forgetting about the women's lib. Forgetting about dressing like our oppressors and looking like them. Women are not going to be wearing pants. The men going to be wearing the pants and the women are going to be wearing dresses and skirts. At least according to the Bible, the daughters of Zion are going to go back to what we had before. 
Because those daughters of Zion who stuck to the Bible, they have many good news to report in the earth today. So we're not worried about that. We're seeing ourselves rise while we see the enemies of the children of Israel fall. So Lamentations 4, how is the gold become dim? How is the fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. The precious sons of Zion comparable to fine gold, how are they esteemed as earthen pitchers, the works of the hands of the potter? Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel like the ostriches in the wilderness. The tongue of the suckling child cleave it to the roof of his mouth for thirst. The young children ask bread, and no man breaketh it unto them. They that did feed delicately are desolate in the streets. They that were brought up in scarlet embraced dunghills. For the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom that was overthrown as in a moment and no hands stayed her. Her Nazarites were purer than snow. They were whiter than milk. They were more ruddy in body than rubies. Their polishing was of sapphire. Their visage is blacker than a coal. They are not known in the streets. Their skin cleaveth to their bones. It is withered. It is become like stick. And visage mean face. So when he tells you the Israelites are black, this is also one of those passages. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine are we stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. The hands of the pitiful women have sodden their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. So that happened in the book of Kings. It happened in slavery. It happened in when 70 AD Jerusalem was sacked. The Israelites were eating their own children. The Lord hath accomplished his fury. He hath poured out his fierce anger and has kindled a fire in Zion and it has devoured the foundations thereof. The kings of the earth and all the inhabitants of the world would not have believed that the adversary and the enemy should have entered into the gates of Jerusalem. For the sins of our prophets and the iniquities of our priests that have shed the blood of the just in the midst of her. They have wandered as blind men in the streets. They have polluted themselves with blood so that men could not touch their garments. They cried upon them, Depart ye, it is unclean, depart, depart, touch not. When they fled away and wandered, they said among the heathen, They shall no more sojourn there. The anger of the Lord divided them. He will no more regard them. They respected not the persons of the priests. They favored not the elders. As for us, our eyes have yet fain, failed for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. They hunt our steps, that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near, our days are fulfilled, for our end is come. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. They pursued us upon the mountains. They laid wait for us in the wilderness. The breath of our nostrils, the anointed of the Lord, was taken in their pits, of whom we said under his shadow we shall live among the heathen. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away captive into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. So now that you see this Newsweek article, that's the fulfillment at the beginning of that. The sins of the daughters of Zion have been completed. They have walked naked. They have aborted their baby. They have done wickedness. Wickedness upon wickedness upon wickedness. Black women, you know what you have done. Negresses, you know what you have done. Daughters of Zion, you know what you have done. We are repenting. We have repented. And the, the um, iniquity for what the daughters of Edom have done is coming upon them now. Okay? So, yeah, this is what our punishment was. Our children were torn from us. 
and sewn into slavery. They were torn from my forefathers and fed to the wild bees because my family descend from those Jews that were in the inner circle of Jesus Christ. Like Joanna, Zipporah, they were the women at the cross. That's my grandmother's name, okay? And our forefathers left Jerusalem before it fell to go and spread the gospel. So the ones who believed in Christ, we got it worse from the Romans. They were put in the arenas and fed to the beasts. Like we live in St. Andrew. St. Andrew was crucified. That's St. Andrew's cross and the flag of Jamaica. Everywhere in the world we went, we were chased by the Catholics, the pagans, the unbelievers, the antichrist. So all of that sin that they did to the children of Israel, you're seeing it come upon them now. It's starting and then that's why you see the deaths of despair. So a lot of it also, the women's lib movement was them. The wearing of the pants was them. The abortion, women control their bodies. Women, you don't control your bodies. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. The Most High is the one who created you and tell you that the marriage bed must be undefiled and kept pure. You need to be virgins. The man and the woman, virgin. And the wedding night is your first night and you should give for children. If the man won't provide for his children, he's worse than an infidel. So the way the Most High set up his kingdom is what we have to go back to. So we're seeing now that all these... Um, Calamities have come upon the daughters of Edom because the Mosai said, Second Edras, like as they do yet this day unto my chosen, so will I do also and recompense them in their bosom. Thus saith the Lord. Jeremiah 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee I will give for a prey. All right. So behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth, much more the wicked and the sinner. So they're going to be rewarded double, you know, for what they did. And you're seeing it come upon their countries now because they have negative birth rate because of idolatry, um, sodomy, um, women's live, all that vaccination experiment, the lynchings and all of that that came upon our people. We waited on the Lord to recompense. We didn't go back out and do it to them as they did to us. And now you're seeing deaths of despair everywhere. So Jeremiah 25, they're great kings. They serve themselves of the Israelites and they're going to get the same thing that they did. Psalm 83, Revelation tell you the same thing. For the Lord recompense it and will give thee seven times as much. Okay? So the fully... Recompense of the Eden is coming up and they're not doing very well with it. But you see, when we were going through it, we had to serve it to the end. The slaves didn't get any recompense. The apostles who have been slaughtered, they haven't been recompensed yet. So this is the patience of the saints. So you see a little bit of reparation trickling in. Georgetown student vote to pay reparation for slave. Glasgow University to pay reparations for 200 million extracted from the region. That is, you know, according to UWI in Kingston, Jamaica, you had um, Selassie giving us a little bit of land in Ethiopia. But for the most part, they have paid reparations to the Japanese. They have paid the slave owners, the slave masters. They have enriched themselves. They have trodden down Jerusalem. They have raped the land, raped the people, sold us for naught, and refused to pay. So you see, when the Mosai starts paying, then he said even when they kill themselves, they're going to be coming back to life to pay their punishment because if they go to hell, the Mosai is there. Wherever they go, the Mosai is there. So they're not really going to be able to run from it. So Ethiopia had given like the Negroes in the diaspora about... um. 500 hectares of land that was when one of the first persons to actually say hey we did wrong let us give you some support let us give you some land back if you want to come back because when africa was great the hebrews made it great when egypt was great the hebrews made it great europe the hebrews made it great assyria babylon 
Asia, the Americas, the Most High used us to build up all their nations. So he said, all those who preyed upon us, they're going to be a prey. All right. So another U 